please come maybe towards, I encourage you to come towards the side, maybe to get a better viewing, as this is a very personal, very personal, and also a little bit more, a little bit more hands-on. Again. So, every chef has that moment when they know that they're going to pursue cooking. And sometimes, you know, that's achieved through going through culinary school for formal training or a need of necessity in order to feed your family. My lineage is a bunch of chefs that came from overseas without much knowledge about prior cooking. And so, they decided to open a restaurant. So today, I'll be taking you a little bit towards back towards my story as a chef by learning how to slice an apple. Now, it's important to understand that before you even, before this even comes into your hands, you need to know two things important. Preparation, which is knowing what your ingredient is working with, and also any compliments, any compliments that you need to go along with it, and technique, because you do not want to be under a statistic here as said by Polish medical government, that stated that all 8 million injuries here, 66% were on the fingers and the thumbs, and 36% of that came from kitchen knife. So I really stress that you come prepared, knowing here. So, why don't I take this apple, Daryl, yours, and you know, please take that here, and please point it towards the audience here so that you may replicate what I am doing here. Now, prepping. Stage is already set. I have my board, and I also have the ingredient of interest here. Technique, let's go. So please hold your apples like so, in a sort of a C shape here. This is the trim, the top. With your knuckle, with your other hand, that's not holding the apple. Please follow. Trim around here for the top, away from your body, and turn it around. Turn the apple around so as you see the bottom. Please trim towards here so that you get the bottom as well. Then, follow me carefully. Make hold the apple by its side towards this and cut. Proceed to cut downwards. Notice that in every shadow technique I do, the blade is away from me. Even in practice, I can have this knife right now and start cutting, and I still will not be injured here. So, that's your technique. And then claw. Claw is essential because it blocks the knife from getting to your fingers. If my fingers were held like this and I chopped down, oh, I lost my finger already here. If I have the knuckle, the blade will fight against the knuckle, and so I am protected. So now, please, return the apples to me. <laughs> I got it. All right, so, following in here, I'm gonna clear it, and I'm gonna do my best. So, take the knife. Get comfortable with your knife. Every great chef understands that holding the knife is important. In my style, I have the thumb on top, and also my fingers, the longest is the shortest, and then follow the center, and then the shortest finger is the longest. This is the technique I've established. So, like so, here, <coughs> C grip, cut, away, away, and away. So it's that, turn it around, and like so. Here, notice how clean that is. Very clean here. Now this is the tricky part. This is where most people get injured here, not knowing how to cut the sides. So what I'm going to do is, with my knuckle and the blade, I am protected. And so I proceed to cut down and down and move my non-dominant hand. I'm always making sure that my non-dominant hand is moving with my blade. If I keep my non-dominant hand stationary, then I'm in danger of getting cut. And I end up like another statistic. And I'm always moving my thumb and my fingers around here, slowly coming towards one full peeled slice. Like so. Then I keep going, I keep moving the blade towards me here, and also making sure that the apple slices, if I had a bigger board, this would not be an issue. But since I have a smaller board, the apple slices are going to get everywhere. So Right now, I am close towards the end. So this is the part where most people get hurt, surprisingly, here. It's not knowing how to slice your apple here. So, claw grip on top, 
we're going to cut down, and then that's one. Move the apple, cut down, number two. Cut down, number three. Cut down, number four. And five, and six, and seven. And then you start realizing, wait a minute, I have so much apple left. How do I make sure I get the rest of it? You lie it flat, and then claw, and then you proceed to cut even more. And you just keep shifting the apple towards you so that you have better slices. And also that's less waste, because as a chef, you want to use the most of the ingredients. You do not want to make less ingredients here. So once you have all your slices here, then what you proceed to do is wipe the blade here. And this in this case here, you wipe the blade and make sure that the blade is never towards you. Do not do this. I repeat, do not have this because then, oh, I'm cut. Okay. Make sure that the blade is away from you when you're not using it. And wipe. Proceed to wipe your blade. Then sheath it and make sure that thing is staying away from you. And then, for the last part, is presentation. Presentation is key in cooking. You do not want to make your food look messy. You want to make sure that it looks appealing. Now this is horrendous here, obviously, and I will definitely be kicked out here. But, so, the last step is serving. Here, where did I put my spoon? Okay. The last step is serving. So proceed with peanut butter. I like to have a hearty amount of peanut butter. So that is how you prepare peanut butter <laughs> sliced apples. The first thing I did as a chef when I was 13. Thank you. Sarah, would you like to have one? Yes. Come forward. Come forward, please. Please. Can I have one? Just apples? Please. Any of the audience, please come forward and help me finish this. Finish this. And if not, then at least come help me clean up. <laughs> Can I have a spoon of peanut butter? Oh, yes, you may, you may. Help yourself, pass it around. Oh, you just want the peanut butter? I see. I see. Come forward, please. Anybody else? I encourage you, please try this. This is very good. Um, no. Would you like some? No. <laughs> Professor, would you like some? <laughs> With the peanut butter as well? The peanut butter as well. I like mine with a hearty amount of peanut butter, if you can have some. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 <laughs>